Uh, Mr. Bijur, if you can hear me, um, we're trying to really get a sense of what, what all is already out. Of course, a lot of uh, information could be, could be a bit of gossip, but beyond that, of course, uh, serious diplomatic concerns between various countries? Yeah, uh, if you really look at it, I haven't been able to look at uh, too many of the documents because, you know, uh, within about 90 minutes, I've encountered a DDoS error, which is a distributed denial of service, uh, or in layman's term, the site has crashed. Uh, now, this simply means that, you know, there are about 220,000 documents out of a, a total of 3,200,000 documents or cables which are going to be witnessed soon. Uh, there's no prioritization of information India-wise or any-wise, but this is exciting. I mean, these are exciting days. I do believe diplomacy has gone for a six, and I think uh, the parda of American diplomacy has been lifted to date. And I'm not only talking about the parda of American diplomacy, but the potential of every country's diplomacy and every country's diplomatic, uh, you know, stance is out here in the open. So I think these make for very interesting reading. And uh, for one, you know, we are entering into an era of transparent intergovernmental diplomatic situations. Uh, you know, we keep talking about transparency in corporate governance norms. Suddenly, there is a transparency in intergovernmental diplomacy norms. And I think the world has arrived. All right, Mr. Biju, stay with us. We'll get you a, a few side uh, highlights from, from which are not really making the big news. Of course, the leaks are a series of official correspondence for and from the U.S. State Department. One of the shocking revelations is what some Pakistan's allies truly think of its leadership. The cables quote Saudi Arabia's King Abdullah commenting on Asif Ali Zardari. He says, and I quote, when the head is rotten, it affects the whole body. <laughs> Controversial comment there. Uh, of course, uh, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad uh, has been referred to as Hitler. Nicolas Sarkozy of France has been called a naked emperor. Vladimir Putin of Russia has been called the alpha male. And even uh, Chechen President Ramzan Kadyrov who gave a 5 kg lump of gold as a gift at wedding and about how he never spends the night in one location for fear of his life. There are several cab uh, cables about Robert Mugabe, the Zimbabwean president. One jocularly comments that uh, Mugabe believes his 18 doctorates give him the authority to suspend the laws of economics. They also talk of the relationship between Russia's Vladimir Putin and Italy's Silvio Berlusconi. Um, claiming that the two are close, often trade lavish gifts and lucrative energy contracts, and even uh, that Berlusconi is Putin's mouthpiece in Europe. Of course, they're also talking about Afghanistan's President Hamid Karzai, accusing him of a weak personality and driven by paranoia. And Libya's Muammar Gaddafi, the cables say he fears flying over water and rarely travels without his Ukrainian nurse, who is really a voluptuous blonde companion. Finally, the, the German Chancellor Angela Merkel is described as Teflon, avoiding all risk and not very creative.